Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back to my UiPath Forms tutorial series. In the previous video, we learned how to design a simple input form in UiPath Studio. If you have not watched that video, I highly recommend checking it out. I will also put that link in the video description. Today, in this video, we will take the next step and learn how to display forms or show forms using show form activity. By the end of this video, you will know how to use show form activity in UiPath forms and how to display the form to the users so that users can interact with that form and then share their inputs. So let's get started. This is the simple input form that we designed in the previous video. Let me show you how to modify this form. First, let's understand the file type. So this is simple input form and the extension is .ui form. Now let's say if you want to modify any controls, so these are the controls like components. This is the label headers, this is the text, this is number, radio, this is button. If you want to modify, you just need to mouse over on this or click on that. So if I click here, right side you can see one small pop-up with five buttons we can say. We have edit button, it's like a setting gear icon. We have move, edit JSON file, copy and remove. So if you want to remove this, you can click on remove this. If you want to copy and paste it again, so copy and paste. Now, if you click on this edit, it will give you an option to modify that label, that header, that control, that component. Now, if I want to change that from medium to small, you can see I can do it here. I can modify from here. I can go to the field key and I can set the property name and I can save it from here. Now, if you go to this, this control, this component for the text field, and this one and the radio button and the button. So these four, which is used to basically send the trigger or like send the input somewhere. So it's like a trigger, right? If you click on that, something will be triggered. Something will be happen, right? So for that, we have one option that is create trigger. Based on the, some changes in this input field, you can create a trigger. We will learn about this, how to create trigger and how to use this later on. Now, if I need to run this form, if I need to display this form, show that form to the users, then here for this form, we are not getting option to run that, right? If I try to run that, so it will run the project, not this form. I'm not able to run this file. Only one option we have using one activity. For that, you have to go to the main workflow and then we should have this uipath.form.activities package installed. To show the form, we need to use this activity that is called show form. This one. So let's drag and drop here. Show form activity is used to display the forms that you have designed and collect user inputs during the runtime. Now let's see how to use this show form activity. We have three options here which is showing on this, this display, select form, arguments, continue, workflow, execution. So from the select form, we need to select that form which we want to show. So we have only one form. If you have multiple forms created here, then you can select that form from this drop down, or you can create a new form as well. So I want to show this form, simple input form. So whenever the boat will run, it will show this simple input form. Now we have this arguments. So there are four items, four well arguments we can see here. We have header, name, age, and gender. Third one, we have continue workflow execution. By default, this is on. When this option is on, rest of the activities will run while the form is displayed. So if you have any other activity here, that will start executing. So this form will show and then start executing the rest of the activity. So parallelly, we can perform multiple things here. If this is 
off then workflow execution will only continue after the form window is closed so this will display the form once the form is closed then only it can move further with the other activity it can process other activity execute other activity now right side we have properties before showing this let's go to the property of this input form now here you can see this is our form and right side we have property of this form which we have created we have designed we have title so this whatever title you will put here this title will show to our form width so this is used to set the width of the form which will you can see on runtime same way for height if you want to choose the height of the form you can put it here in the pixel and that you can see on runtime so in taskbar if this is on if this is yes the form or like form icon will be showing in this taskbar same as these these icons like for uipath studio we have this uipath studio icon showing in the taskbar same way you will see one form icon whenever form will be executed so margin means so the window frame that on the top you see minimize maximize restore close those things right we have theme if, if you want to change that you can change it from here so we have few inbuilt theme available here you can change it here you can see here it's reflecting here here you can pass your custom css any value you set here that will be applied to form but while using this show form activity if you are setting the value then explicitly that will be applied to that form means let's say for width i am saying like the width should be 300 pixel and the height should be 350 pixel okay so whenever you will run that form so form will show in that resolution 300 and 350 now from so form activity from width and height if you set it 400 and 450 then your form will display set the width and height based on this one not this so this will be overwritten with this value if you have selected here so in taskbar you want to show this form in the taskbar but while using this show form activity you are saying i don't want to show in the taskbar so you can set it no and then form will not the icon will not show in the taskbar while executing so you can leave this as it is you have to set the property while using show form i will show you here one by one so we have title so i want to show the title like input form okay now form state how do you want to show that form you want to show form in normal like in the on the screen or like in the minimized or maximized state so i am saying like normal by default it's normal i can select here normal so margin so margin yes i want to show the margin like on the top i i want to see minimize maximize and the close buttons so i can set it yes stay on top stay on top means if you want to show the form on the top of any other open windows let's say some other application is already running here in the foreground now you want to display your form on top of that application then you can set it yes then your form will show on the top so user can view that directly so in taskbar do you want to show that in taskbar here when form is executed so yes let's select a yes here left here we need to set the value in the pixel so i want to show the form from left 100 pixels so this way we can set the position of the form window where you want to show that form top so from top if you want to set the top position of the form window you can set it in the pixel now we have width so this is same as this so this will set the size of the form so we can set here let's say 
400 width height 450 pixels this is pixel and let's check it later once we'll run that now instance name instance name basically if you want to show multiple instance of a form file then you have to put it here unique instance name so let's say a customer call customer center so there's only one form where we have every details of that caller so anyone is calling that so based on the call that form will display the data right now let's say same time we are getting another call so I want to pick that one so I have just selected that one so based on that caller the data will be displayed to the same form so form instance will be based on the username the caller name so if we have a single instance of this form file you can leave this empty now let me show you how to show the form so we just need to run that so let's run it here okay so this is the form now I will set it like this way let's let's try one more time here let's change that width to 280 right now let's run that again okay it seems it's good right width we have changed that and everything is fit into the one window right and you can see here we are getting this icon here now we have so margins we have set it yes if you will set it false this part the title this these details will not show these things will not show here if i'll set it uh so in taskbar false like no then this icon will not show right now here you can share inputs let's say i'm passing here john 55 mail and then you can click submit and this execution is just stopped and that's it so in this video we learned how to use the so form activity to, to display forms and take inputs from users in the next video i will show you how to take input from users and then write the data to the message box and also to the excel file if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channels let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments below see you in the next video